Hey guys, it's that piece of shit you'll know and love named Rezex. What's going on? And today we're gonna do the long awaited Silva and Aegis Prime build. Um, I made a Silva and Aegis Prime build way back when and it was shit. So, this is kind of like the fixed build and the Silva and Aegis Prime build. So, yeah. So, first of all, you want a final harbinger for your stance mod just because that's the one that comes with the, uh, that's what the polarity slot comes with and, you know, it's the funnest one there is in the game. Prime pressure point for damage, blood rush for crit chance, drifting contact for. Uh, status chance and for what body count does I can't remember what it is berserker a lot of people complain about berserker because the animations you swing too fast but I'd honestly prefer to swing through the animations fast so I mean that's up to you uh, organ shatter for critical damage condition overload for damage when a status effect is applied to the enemy uh, north wind and fever strike for uh, viral damage so and this build is only two formas, which is not a lot at all. So let's get right into this. Fighting a level 100 corrupted heavy gunner. <clears throat> um, I don't know, I don't think I have much else to say on this weapon other than it's it's an endgame weapon and <laughs> the Cybaris is god tier, this thing is ten times more god tier. Now you'll notice that with the shield I'll put it up and then I get a 3.0, I get a 3 point times 3 combo counter at the top right. You would have seen it before I hit the enemy, that just gives you critical chance and I think that's it. But uh, as you can see I'm using it again just to show you guys what the shield does and it can get up to 4.0. I was just testing it to see if it could go any higher or times 4 not 4.0. And yeah it just applies critical chance as far as I know so thank you guys for watching.